so i'm going to teach you how you can create this flyer make sure you follow the steps accordingly if you want to and or if you don't want to follow the steps to you can just watch it and look at the various tricks and then hacks that are used to create this flyer it's very simple and you can follow along so stay connected and let us move okay. so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a background for this particular flyer and to create a background what you need to do is then you use this one solid uh, color you go in for solid color or you create a gradient as a background or you can go to this side and then you will select the rectangle to create the background or you can also use this one the gradient or the paint bucket to create the background that is based on the color sometimes some people do use external images for their background but for this tutorial i'm going to use the rectangle to create the background so first of all i need to make sure that i've selected the color okay so i'll go in for the color swatches and then i need this color so i'll pick this color so you can see that i've selected the color. from there what i need to do is i'm going to create the background okay so i'll create this So this is the first one you create a rectangle as your background so this is my first background and from here i need to add certain things to the background so that the background will be a little bit catchy okay so i will go in for images to add to the color okay so i will just go to this side then i will look for images i've downloaded some images for this particular flyer so to do that just look through for images okay then i want to add this particular image okay this man bring here so i don't want the full image so i can do it this way then i will stretch this one to the side okay then just go in for your blending mode okay i'll go in and then blend this particular image together with the background and see what i'm going to get okay so this is what i'm going to get so i'll either go in for the lighting or the screen okay so you choose any of them the one you like we have the color dodge then we have the linear dodge we have the lighter we have the overlay we have the soft light but I want this particular part because I want all the dark parts to reduce, okay? So, let's go back and see something. You see, this is the darkest part, okay? So, I want this part to go off. So, we need to go in for lighting or screen or color dodge. So, I prefer the color dodge because the color dodge blend the image together with the background. Look at the screen. You can still see the darkest parts in it. Although it looks a little bit white. But you can see still the buy and then the lighting too is quite okay but i'll go in for the color dodge because i want to blend it together with this one after doing that what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to remove the white that i can see you can see that there is a white here there so i'm going to remove some not all i'm going to remove some so i'll make sure i'll use mask okay i'm going to mask the layer so if you want to learn more about layer mask you can watch it in my videos you can go in and then you watch more about layer mask so i'll just click on this one layer mask this one is white so i should make sure that this part is black so black then i'll go in for brush okay so this is the brush okay now increase the size then the opacity is set to 50 let me increase it to 100 okay i want to increase the size of this one so now i want to take away this one okay 
blend it was more. I don't want it to be. So I'm going to take all just the white. Let's take them away so that the image will be blend. All right. So after blending the image, I want to position this one wall like this one. I don't want it to be like full image on it. So this small one okay something like this is cool all right so let's put this small this is something yeah we're free to go so this is the first stage of the background the second stage rather right of the background and the third stage we want to add another catchy image to it okay this be creative just be creative go for images blend them to get a background so i'm going for another image i took this image from a particular flyer okay so i just saw this image and i said okay this image will be nice so i go in for this image and i'm going to blend this image okay, together so this one too what i will do is i don't want to make um, this one so i want to hide the darkest part so i'll go in for screen or color dodge okay so the color dodge will be okay for me all right so now what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to throw this fire on the head of the person praying okay so i will transform this one i'm just testing to see if it will be nice that is how we create fire so let's play around it and see all right something like this okay that i can take away the tree okay so bring this one up small and then we get something like this okay so from here I can give this one a layer mask then I'll clear away the tree so to be like the fire is on the head of the person okay. so let's make it more realistic okay. if you think the color dodge is not happening this take around which of them look like this one too is cool okay this one is cool for me because i want this one to pop up okay and this one is light i don't want the light in i want linear dodge let's let the light no the linear dodge is cool. then brush okay so from here i'm going to brush this side Let us reduce the opacity small and then take away part of this side. Just not to want to blend it, okay? So let's reduce the opacity small and blend over that. That's how we do the blending, okay? Reduce the opacity, the blend mode, everything. So that the thing will be more realistic okay all right so you get this so i think this one is okay for my background so let's see you can still see the white in this one i want to take the white away so i'll just add more this thing to it so i'm going to remove the whites okay i'm removing them this one too i can see some white all right so i've created something like that so it's like someone praying and there is a fire hitting on the head of the person so the person is in fire okay the person is flaming up all right so after creating your background you need to add your test to it okay so i'm going to add my test 
and my text and the logo and the information all the information you want okay let's see if i change this one to let's say i want to check something out can you see something i want to clean certain parts okay but it is not working so let's bring it to normal and then you can clean that part brush so i'll go in for the brush again i don't want this side i don't want this one so let me increase my opacity here and then take away this take away this side take away this side okay don't want them okay. now let's change the blend mode again let's go in for Lightning, lightning is cool. Lightning is cool for me. Okay. But the lightning, it seems the color is not blending well with the background, so I need something which will blend. Let's see the screen. The screen blends. The color blends is better. But that one too, the light is off, so I have to go in for the screen. Okay. So I like the screen like that. Now, let me take this one too and see if I can. Okay, I think it's okay for me now. That's our background, okay? So, from here, we need to create our test or our add the type, okay? So, I'm going to create this so I can group this one as one. So, you select the first one, hold the shift key, and then select the last one, then hit control G group it so can name it as green background all right so after naming this one as the main background we need to create our test okay so i'll go in for the test the test i'll write something but I already have the test, so I'll just need to paste that test, okay? So I need this one, Christ Apostolic Student and Association. So I need this one. So I'll select all of them, then reduce the size to something like uh, 14. 14 is too big for me. Let's go in for 6. Okay, and then set this one to left, uh, right, left aligned, rather, okay? Then position this one at the top here. All right. So from here, he says Christ Apostolic Student University of Cape Coast Casa UCC. So I need to add their logo. So I'm going to add the logo. I'm going for the logo. So it is the logo for University of Cape Coast. All right. So we have this logo here. So I'll just position the logo here. Then I will add the Christ Apostolic Student and Association. I want to I will position it here. Okay. So we have the logo for the association. So Christ Apostolic Student and Association. Best of Cape Coast, something like this. And I want to add certain things. So you just need to be creative, okay? So make sure you add some kind of certain thing. I'll just zoom in to see something. Okay, so I can add some horizontal line here. So I'm going to add horizontal line, okay? So, sorry, vertical line. So I'll just going for the vertical line like this okay. just use the rectangle to create your vertical line something like this the boundary 
between the logo and then the text then set the color to white okay so i'm going to set the color to white so after setting the color to white this word we have okay okay so we have this okay just follow and you'll get everything right then let us see what we have done so we have this now you get it. now from here what we are going to do right now is we are going to um add more information so we want to write something like worship with us worship with us okay so with the worship with us you can't just go in and then just write worship with us it will be nice so i don't want this one to be part of the background so i'll drop this one here and then this one to I'll group them as one of the so this one is select them and then group them so I'll call this one as logos right test okay and I'll create another one say worship don't just type the worship like that so you are going to type w then o then r so that one will be the first one we will type we want to create something as some ah okay so we set the font 48 48 is too small for me so let's go in for 72 then we need a bold bold test okay flanking is quite nice then go to the properties reduce the spacing between the test of the intervals okay we are going to reduce it more okay this one is quite close Let's set it to 100 and see. 100 is 2. So minus 110. I just want to reduce this to minus 100. Okay. Increase it small. Okay, I still don't want this one, so I'm going to decrease this one to 30. Then enter. Um, okay, it is okay for me. So, watch it. Then we need to increase the size more okay we want it to be big because it's the main thing we want we are doing so worship okay then we need to stretch it downwards okay so hold the shift key then bring it down like this okay. something like this so we have the worship then we need to make duplicate of this because you can see the work left with the shape so just go in for duplicate hold this one drag and drop on the glass here to create a new one copy of that then bring this one down just follow along okay so that it will be in the same position so i'm going to bring in the alignment Okay, so I'll position the ruler so that it will fall within the interval of that one. Okay, so after positioning that way, what we are going to do right now is we need to change the second one we copied to shape. 
but the I, I don't want it to be capital, I want it to be small. So, worship something like this. Then I'll stretch this one small so that it will be the same to this one. I'll reduce the stretching here. Okay, so we get this one. So we now have our worship. Then we can take this one. Right. Take this one to the side. I see that worship. All right, but we want to add some kind of feelings to it. Okay, so I will just tackle with the shape first. Then I will come and tackle with this one. So with the shape, I will just create a new layer above. Then I will go in for my brush tool. Okay, so after selecting the brush tool. We can decrease the opacity to something like uh, 50. Then enter. Then we make sure that this one is set to black. Then we are going to decrease the size more. Then we are going to create a shadows. Okay. We can use the inner shadow to do it, but I we I don't want it that way. So I want to create a shadow over certain areas. How bright over these areas? Not all the part, okay. Just certain areas, okay. Certain areas. Don't make it deep. Let it be light. So we just create it like this. But this particular area. Okay. Something. Like this. Maybe something small, okay just to add some kind of feelings to it so i'm going to clip this one to the shape i don't want it to go beyond that particular edges then i will change the blending mode to something like uh linear band is not working for me darken multiply then i will reduce the opacity okay we have we have this one okay we can add more to it okay then bring it um it's okay for that part okay it's okay for that Let's, yeah, that's what we don't need this particular area. So I'm going to clean this part, okay? Um, so I'll bring in the layer mask to clean the areas I don't want. I don't want the side. Okay. So I'll clean that particular part. Then here too, I want to make it more like this way. Then I'll come here again. Then I'll brush over this side. It's more like you just any kind of style uh, okay all right so creating that one with the shape we are going to add a kind of uh look to it so we, we are going to add a stroke okay so this is the stroke okay then It's the outside stroke. The stroke is why it's okay for me. Then, with the test, this is, you, you can see that uh, there is no space between this one. So I'm going to increase the space more of the shape. Okay. Okay. So now it's okay for me. Then, I'll copy the layer star here and I'll apply the same layer star to the wall. Okay, so paste the layer star. After pasting that layer star, this is what we have. Okay. So, with that one, too, we are going to add the same thing we created here. Okay, we're going to create another layer above this one, then clip in that one. 
but let's do the same for that part and brush we are going to brush over this side okay something like a curvy right All right, after doing that, then change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity. So let's check the opacity for this. It was 25. So we do same for this side and set it to 25. And what you are going to do now is you are going to clip in that one. So create a clipping mask of that one after doing that what you are going to do now is we don't want this particular um oh so you will duplicate this particular layer the worship okay then we are going to take away the stroke here so we click we will clear the layer star then you will position this one above that one okay after position that one and currently this word we are going to have we need to change the test okay so i'm going to change that particular test to o so i'll select o to o so this is what we are then i'll hide that one then with this one okay with this one I'm going to hide that one as well. The O. So I will just select that particular area. So this one is kind of creativity. So you just need to follow your creativity and then make your you follow, follow along. When you follow along, you will get most of the tricks we use in creating these particular flyers. Okay. So after doing that, I'm not going to delete that particular thing. I'm just going to cover it. So I'll create a new layer above that one. Then with that new layer, I'll sample the color to this color so that it will match the background. Then after sample, just hit Alt plus back space to cover that particular area. So this is what we have now. Okay. Now, I can see that it is quite stylish, okay? So, we have created that one. We don't need this star, so I'm going to bring this one up here. Then, I'm going to stretch this one over them. So, let's push this one like this, okay? Anything nice. Going to stretch over that one. Keep on stretching, keep on stretching to get the desired effect. Okay, so it, it looks like this one is over this one. Okay, so now. What we are going to do now is uh, we are going to remove the clipping mask. This clipping mask. It shouldn't be that way. With this, I'm going to remove this clipping mask. Please. Yeah. So this one now is we need to create a star for this the shape. Okay. We want to change the eye. So I'm going to create. This vertical rectangle. Then clip it in there so we get this. We get wash it. Okay, wash it. So this is what we have created. It's not nice, but it's quite cool. 
so let's follow along so you can see how long i have kept design only the worship just to add more fresh to it so that's what we are talking about so fire fire creating is about your creativity okay so as you are following along just pick up some of the tricks that i used okay because some of them you will not be taught whether you learn uh -huh. so as you are watching this video just listen to me carefully and then make sure you you follow along the very fix that we use okay because if you go straight forward and then write a text like that or without adding any fresh to it it will make it raw and your work will be you will create a fire all right but it will not be nice okay so we just need to bring this one here and bring this one here you see this one is more than that okay so i need to make sure it falls within the range so i'm going to reduce this one small not that particular one the test the shape And bring this rectangle to the size more. Okay. So this is what we are talking about. So after creating this one, we need to create another rectangle. We need this one. Okay. So this rectangle is quite cool. But the color as blended with the background you don't want it that way so i will hit you after hitting you you get the fill here or you can use the property to set it i don't want to use the property so i'll go in for this and i'll go in for gradient with the gradient i just check whether i have some gradient there you can see we have this gradient okay so this one is cool for me I'll just drag this one up. I don't want to claim that one. I will leave the clip. So this one, okay. But this time I don't want it to be like uh, this way. I want to change it. So I'll go to the this one, then change the angle to something like 180 or something like that. zero. So we get something like this, okay. So we get this. Then let us open it small, okay. We are going to add another test. So we are going to write watch. Don't place the test within the box. Just place it outside the box because when you place it, it's going to use the size of the box to control everything so if you don't want that we just place the test away from the box then when you finish you drag it and place it in. If you don't want that way you can just do it this way and the test like if you place the teaser on the box here it's going to take the shape of the box so i'm not going to place my test on the box and type i will place it outside the box okay so, hey. Okay. I will type worship as every Sunday. So I will reduce this size to set uh, six. Six is too small. Go for eleven. Eleven is too small. Go for. 30 is too big, so I'm going for 16. 16 is too big for me, I'm going for 14. So, the writing that one, just need to position it on this one. Okay, you see where it was placed. So, make sure you drag it and bring it to that particular layer. Worship with us every Sunday. 
I'm not going to use the whites for this test. I will just play this once more so that it will fit. Then I'll give it a space. Okay. So this space, I'll increase my spacing. Okay, this one is cool. Control this one. So, from here, I want to use the background test. Okay, I will place in the background test. I worship with us every Sunday. Worship with us every Sunday. All right. Now we are done for the that's it. So from here, I'm going to create another information. I'm going to add another information. That information is the venom and then the time. So I will use this one for the venom, the time, so I will create an ellipse. Okay. So from here, I will add a stroke, reduce the slope to uh, 5, it should be faint, okay, so I will position this one here as well, then I will duplicate this one, so that I will get the same size. And with this one too, I don't want the color, so I have to change it to gradient. So I'll change that one to gradient. So I'll come here, then pick up my gradient like this, then set it to zero. This stroke, I don't want this stroke to be white. So I'm going to change uh, this stroke here to gradient. Um, no, let's see, black. Black is not good, so the white, I'll maintain the white like that. So from here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place in my test, okay? So this one is the time, this one is the location, and then this one is the time. So I'll just place in something. Make sure you don't place the cursor within the test, okay? But right now, it's the selected ellipse is this one, so I'll place it away from the selected ellipse. So I'll type in my time my location the so the location is cafe roof I'm going for white then I'll position this one in here From here, I'm going to reduce the space in the interval. So, with that one, let's decrease it. Okay, so we have this. Then, from here, I will check the alignment to see, okay, so it's left alignment, so I'll just bring this one to the side. Okay. I'm going to add another test to this one as well. So this one is the time. So this, 
quickly this one and bring in to this side and I'll change the color to this one and I'll type in the time which is 6 30 a.m. to 9 o'clock a.m. Then I will select all and then change the alignment to center. I change the alignment to center because I want to position the two in the middle, not on the left side. Okay, so I will just decrease the size of this one. So now we get this. So from here, I have to add the logo of the association. So I'm going to add the logo of the association. And that logo will be this one, the social handle. Then I will bring this one. Sorry, I'm going. I'm adding the social handle. Okay, so this is the social handle for the association. So the association social handle. So I just bring the social handle. Then I'll type the name of the association. Here. So I'll bring it to this side. And I will type in the text, which is Asa UCC. That is social handle name. Let us reduce the size more and see what you are going to get, okay? So, that's how you see, see. That is it, so. Now this what we have. It's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. As you can see, it's very nice. Yeah. So worship with us every Sunday. Cafe rooftop, 6 30 a.m. to 9 30. Alright, so Casa UCC. I hope you like it. Okay. So after creating all this, you can add more fresh to it, either shapes, whatever. Anything that will make it more catchy, okay. But now I will leave it this way. Then I'm going to make sure I sharpen the color to pop out. So I'm going to add more contrast to it. Okay. So I'll add contrast to my I want the color to pop up. Okay. So see before, before, then after. You can see the difference. It was very white and after yeah and also decrease the if you want it to be more darker you can decrease the brightness then from here we can also add uh, can add vibrance to it okay so we don't use vibrance and saturation can also use it with your pliers to change the color 
so I can increase the vibrance to make it more look greasy or like that. So this is all about our appliance. Very simple way of creating it. All you need to do is just stick together and then make sure you practice. Okay, you can do the same. Just download the images online and go online. Just download someone praying or something like that, a uh, fire or something like that, and then use it to create your own flyer. Thank you for following this.